Hey everyone, Craig here. I am currently all by my lonesome walking into, well, walking from the parking lot into Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, I'm all alone because, well, you know, judging by all the Disneyland videos that keep going up on our site, Rhino must be still out in California. Um, Kylie's at work right now, so I just really have no other friends besides the two of them, so here I am all alone. But uh, right now I think I'm going to uh, go look at some of the current update on the construction. Uh, so I know some changes have already started being made to the exterior of Great Movie Ride. Um, and then I'll look at Star Wars Land and we'll see what else. So let's have some fun. Okay, so as we round the corner here, and notice right away that the marquee is finally gone from Great Movie Ride. As you can see here, they've removed the uh, little TCM description of Mary Poppins, but uh, other than that, it still is uh, pretty much intact inside. There you can see that Mickey has taken over one of the signs uh, that used to have the poster of Great Movie Ride inside of it. And of course, Minnie took over the other one, so that is cute. Just like the Mary Poppins display, the Jungle Book display is missing the TCM description of uh, the Jungle Book, but other than that, the, the rest of the pictures and memorabilia are inside. And here is another shot showing that the Great Movie Ride marquee is missing, so I would assume that when Mickey and Minnie's uh, Runaway Railway opens up, that that's where their signs will be placed. Or it'll just be left blank, who knows, but it's sad to see the Great Movie Ride pretty much now officially wiped out from this area. Now making my way down to One Man's Dream, you can see that the sign is completely uh, covered up behind the, the construction scrim walls and uh, and yeah, when I guess when it's down, there will be a new sign for Walt Disney Presents instead of One Man's Dream. Let's go inside and see what is going on in there. Well, I can't imagine that this will be around for much longer. This will probably get switched up. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing here is that the True Life Adventures video is still playing up above, but there's no more uh, description about it, and now instead we have photos from Disneyland and Disney California Adventures. As you can see here, the, uh, the old studio is completely walled off, and you can no longer see behind this wall, and uh, yeah, so... This is where you will be able to see the models for Toy Story Land as well as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Okay, maybe it's that I don't come in here often, but are all of these posters new? These ones as well. I just, I mean, maybe I haven't paid attention lately when I've come in, but I could have swore that these were always just like more descriptions of uh, Walt Disney Story as it goes along, but I don't know. I'm not the most observant person in the world. Yeah, maybe I'm just crazy, but I could have swore that this was right around the corner where the Disneyland stuff is now, but I don't know. My memory's going real quick. I don't remember any of these pictures here at all. I feel like I'm seeing this all for the first time. Who knows, maybe I am. Considering these are in that same style frame as the others, if those are new, I would say these ones are too. Before I showed you the, uh, the other side of this wall over by One Man's Dream, and now this is just the, uh, the other side of it where the entrance to Toy Story Land will be, apparently, when that finally opens up. If you look inside, you can still see 
the uh, ATAT in the building. Who knows how much longer it'll be in there before it gets completely covered up. But still have a decent view of it right now. So let's go look at Star Wars from the other side. Okay, so I came over to uh, to the Muppets area right now, Muppet Courtyard, to take a look at more Star Wars Galaxy's Edge construction um, because you have a great view over here from the uh, second floor Pizza Rizzo. And while I was over here, I actually have to clear something up for the past, I want to say a couple weeks, I've been still under the assumption apparently that Pizza Rizzo was supposed to be in New York because of all the New York signs that are hanging inside there. And then finally someone yelled at me and said, yeah, it is supposed to be Los Angeles-based New York pizza. And, yeah, sure enough, went inside. Now I see all the references to it. I feel really stupid, so thank you for people uh, pointing it out to me. Um, I'm, I am humble enough to admit that I can be wrong a lot. So thank you so much for doing that, and uh, I'm just going to keep looking at this Star Wars construction around here and uh, enjoy what will be Grand Avenue and Grand Park, I guess. I mentioned over by Toy Story Midway Mania that it was getting uh, very hard to see what was happening inside this building, and now over by the exit of Muppet Vision 3D and Mama Melrose, it's even more impossible to see all the details going on inside there, but it's still exciting. It's still cool that we can see so much of What's happening with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Well, I've seen everything that I care to see here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, so the day is still young. I think I'm actually going to head over to Magic Kingdom now and check out some of the Halloween decorations that have been put up already, maybe get some food, see where else the day takes me. So let's go over there. The handrails and stay clear of the doors until the monorail stops completely and the doors open. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Magic Kingdom Monorail Station. Okay, I've made it here to the Magic Kingdom now, so I am going to head inside, start looking at the Halloween decorations. I'm going to give you an, uh, a look down Main Street without me bothering you the entire way going down, so I don't think I have to explain what Halloween decorations are as I'm moving down there, so enjoy it, and I know I'm going to. It was my walk down Main Street looking at the Halloween decorations. My gosh, it is sunny and hot here. I need to get a bite to eat and cool off. I think I'm going to go into Casey's for that. So it's right behind me. I'm gonna go do it. Okay, as always, when I go to Casey's, I decide to go with the featured dog. Um, this one, it didn't have a name, but it comes with corn on top, salsa verde, peppers, onions, and then a cheese blend. So $10.99 for the dog by itself, or $12.49 if you want it with fries and all that mess. So I just did it by itself, and time to, time to try this. Okay, well, one bite. 
tight end. It's really delicious. But I can't record and eat at the same time. So I'm gonna keep digging into it. I'll let you know how I feel when I'm finished, okay? I am finished here with my meal at Casey's and the best way to describe it is a big ginormous mess. Um, a delicious one though. So the featured hot dog I thought was really excellent. It actually, I, I don't know if this makes sense, but it tasted really fresh because of having all the vegetables on top. Um, really, really delicious overall. Um, I think it was definitely worth the price. The only problem that I really have with it is that it just all kind of fell apart. Um, the, the hot dog itself was always uh, great, um, but the bun was like really big and it was almost as if it was meant for no toppings at all, so all the toppings just fell off very quickly. are coming in and it feels like it's going to rain sometime soon but I feel like I can't come all the way to the Magic Kingdom and not do at least one thing I mean you now it's one thing going to Hollywood Studios and doing nothing because well you just get in the parking lot and then you you walk there but here having to take the monorail or the boat it, it's a lot of extra work so basically this is a long-winded way of me saying I'm just gonna go do the uh, the people mover and then I'm probably going to escape before the rain hits. So let's go have fun on the people mover. Okay, y'all, the rain just started here right now, so that means it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for coming around with me today, and uh, I'll do it next time again when I'm all by myself and I can't figure out what else to do. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, share it with someone else maybe who also might get a kick out of it, and we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.